you doing? What's going on with you? Let me say my grace and I'll tell y'all what I got today. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this day, Lord. We thank you for blessing us with the gift of this day. For grace and mercy, Lord, for health and strength, Lord. We thank you, Lord God, for being in our right mind. We ask you, God, today to bless those that are standing in the need and that have not right now, God. We ask you to meet their need, wherever it may be. We ask you to touch the ones, that, Lord, that are feeling a little down and out right now, Lord God. We ask you to uplift them, Lord, and fill them with joy, God. Let their cup overflow, Lord God, abundantly. Lord, we just thank you today for, again, for blessing us. We thank you for the food that we're about to receive, for the nourishment of our body. In Christ's name, amen, amen. Amen, amen, y'all. What's going on? Oh, let me tell you what I got. I got some air fried salmon, some okra, some farm fresh greens, and I'll tell y'all about these in a minute, and some okra. You know, I told you I was on some okra. So, you know my boy Frank's on dick. My boy Frank's on dick. Well, yesterday I went and um, had fellowship and visited with my aunt. My two aunts, my, one of my aunts had come down from Trenton and uh, my other aunt and my cousin. And uh, when I got there, I smelled some greens cooking, right? And so my aunt that came down, she has a farm and she bought these greens down from the farm. And my cousin, Vincent, so shout out to you. Thank you. Mm. Thank you for the greens. And like I said, she said they were fresh picked. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. You know how you be want something. And y'all, that greens and okra together is right on time. Yes. Didn't want to know, knew I wanted no green till I got me some. And I told not to give me very many. I'm sure Amber gonna eat a little old. So, uh uh. Cook some green beans too. Cause. This salmon will be my lunch or my dinner this week. I had, you know, two pieces, of course. I didn't eat but a little piece. Off of it. So, I kind of been hanging out in the house there, doing nothing. I've been back there, propped up in my bed for a little while. And I'm getting my feet crossed and on the internet looking at TikToks and YouTube. And I decided to get up and get out so i went to two or three stores i went to the park i said you know i had been saying i was gonna go over to the olive branch park and it's a nice size park and it was quite a few people out today i wasn't stopping but i did drive all the way around the park so i don't know i can go over there um uh, of course i'll still go to shepherd farms and i'll still go downtown memphis on the river sometime too but it's nice you know it's a nice park close to me and i can go and sit out when the weather's nice and They have a little water feature out there too, a little lake. And so I can go sit out there and kind of just enjoy the weather, enjoy the, um, get me some vitamin D sometimes. Sometimes, you know, I, I sit in the car sometimes, but it's nice just for the scenery to kind of get out. And like I said, it was quite a few people out. The weather's not too bad, but it is quite hot here. And so I had gotten real hungry. I hadn't eaten since breakfast. Um, I had told my brother, I said, I'm going to go to Panda Express. And now, I had been to several Dollar Generals, all right, looking for some darn peach drink packs and didn't know them have them because that's the only place I know sell them. And couldn't find it. So, I, um, I gave up on that. Kind of. I'll go to some more next week. See if I can locate some. But yeah, I um so I did that right. And um didn't find that. But I found some um uh butter pop puffs, butter puffs. All I could find was the cheddar, the Cheetos butter puffs. And I did buy a bag. I just put them in the cabinet because I happened to pass by and I saw them. And, I, and that was the only Dollar Tree. I saw them in one of the Dollar Trees. I hadn't seen them in any other Dollar Trees. And you have to go down that first aisle, which is the chip aisle, to get to, you know, looking for what you're looking for anyway. So I hadn't seen them in any other one. So I picked up a bag and put them in the closet. But, you know, 
I said, you know what? I don't need to go to no Panda Express. I might say that for later on in the week when I don't feel up to cooking. I knew I already had the greens and stuff, so I said, you need to go and go home and cook. It ain't gonna take no long time when you putting up on. Um, I got the skin off the bottom piece of that salmon. Mm. Like I said, it ain't gonna take no long time. Just go on and go home and warm them greens up and, and throw some okra down in the pot and put some green beans or something on. And you can have a decent meal pretty quickly. What y'all cook good today? So that's what I decided to do. And um, come on home and do that. It's like four something now, like I said. And then I was hungry out in the store. So I said, let me get out of these stores because you know you tend to pick up stuff when you're hungry. And y'all, I kid you not, I, um, so I, um, <laughs> went to the store, and I had just saw this TikTok, and this guy was saying, you know, now he done got to the age where if it's a long line, he ain't waiting, ain't nothing working now. You know, like he was, it was a restaurant that somebody was waiting, and they were standing in line. Mm -hmm. He said, he'll eat somewhere else. And so then I said, oh, I wouldn't mind a piece of fried chicken. And you know how you just want some regular fried chicken? You don't want no Popeyes. Or you just kind of want like a home, like you would cook it at home. And so I knew like Kroger's and, and save a lot of stuff, so like that. But I'm like, you know what? I'm not driving out the way to go get no darn fried chicken. Go home and cook. But you know how sometimes you just have a taste for fried chicken. I, I didn't have no chicken out, of course. So... I think if the weather's not like it was yesterday, my brother stopped by here after I got home and we sat and talked for a little bit outside. It was nice out yesterday, you know. So I do think if it's nice out, I'm going to um, sit outside a little bit later on today and kind of get some of the God's sunshine, even though I've been out in the car today. I noticed and I was ran to this little guy he was looking all tired already. And I said, now you're going to pep it up. He was getting to going there, getting into some lighter fluid. I said, you getting ready to pull out that grill, huh? Is it against your wheel? He started laughing. He said, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, I guess somebody in this house said barbecue. So, he got to get on that grill. And, um, do the darn thing. Hmm. That was real good. Ooh, child. Tell me I'm going outside. I about you didn't take me a nap. Well, like I said, I've been back there and I get up with the chickens every morning. And I, uh, I decided I'm, I'm kind of sleepy though, but I know if I go to sleep this late in the game, I'm going to be up all night. Well, the little weekend seemed like it go by so fast. It'd be over before you know it. You know what I'm saying? Back to the grind. Monday morning. I, um, I'm on vacation next week. So I'm looking forward to that summer. I just would probably would go by fast. I haven't had my mammogram scheduled three times this year. And for some unknown reason, they had to be rescheduled. And I got it scheduled for Thursday at 1.45, so I'm kind of debating. I got a meeting on Tuesday, two meetings on Tuesday. So I'm kind of debating on if I should go in tomorrow or just go in Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday because my mammogram is over on that side of town because I scheduled the mobile unit this time. I said, let me just go ahead and schedule the mobile unit. It's over there by FedEx Clinic where on that side of town west so oh excuse me i said let me just go on and do that but i could always leave home and go but i'm trying to be efficient with this darn gas for one thing i was at the store and the lady said when the gas go back up to four dollars and something i said you almost have to watch it and when it go down you gotta be ready to pounce 
If even if you donate the way I hate to pump gas, even if you donate, you gotta just go on and and get. Do y'all like okra? If so, have a piece. And if not, try it. Just try it. Come on, try it. <laughs> um, it's an acquired taste. I like it though. I've always liked it. I like to cook the fried. Now, one thing I've never had, and I've been looking for it. I've never had the pickled okra. So, I would be interested in how the pickled okra tastes. Taste. Hmm, this was just enough. Hmm, and I am full of a tip. But I'll probably be hungry later on because you know it's four o'clock. It's early up in the day. And that wasn't enough to, uh, the calorie wise, to shake a stick at. So, anyway. So, what y'all got planned for Memorial now? It's coming up. I don't. Um, I just want to uh, wish safe travels for my brother and my aunt who are getting ready to go on, on their cruises. I hope they have a joyful time and an enjoyable time. I'm going to leave. For those of you who asked, I'm going to leave the um, cruise information and the contact information of the person um, down in the description box. And I'm going to leave my booking number if you want to be kind of linked to us so you can sit at the table with us at dinner and things like that. So. That's if you want to go, I just leave. But some I know a couple of people asked about it. So I'm going to, and like I said, have 18 months to pay. It's leaving out of Miami. And I know the ports are San Juan, uh, St. Thomas, and Amber Cove. So it's only one week, then two. It'll be too new for, new for us. And that's about it. But anyway, I'm going to get off here. I just want to kind of come and wish y'all a happy Sunday. I hope you're having a good day, a wonderful, blessed, joyful day. And if not, just stop right now and start. I want you to know you're loved. I love you, but God truly loves you the most. Remember to always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed.